How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Today we have a special one. We have a new limited edition release coming out of Maker's Mark. That's right. We have their Maker's Mark wood finishing series right here. Just picked it up today when it first dropped. Um, let's see how it tastes. So this limited edition release uh, for this year is the second of their releases under the wood finished uh, releases. Uh, this one is finished with 10 different oak staves, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, it is called the heart release. Now the heart release, basically um, they're celebrating the heart um, of their company, which to them is the, what they call the makers of makers. Um, so they're basically celebrating the crew that makes the whiskey for them, which is pretty cool. And just like all of their whiskey, what they really want, obviously, it's still going to be a weeded whiskey. They really want rich caramel, rich chocolate finish, uh, and a little bit of spice on there. They put the notes on the front that you should get caramel, chocolate, maple. It is going to be on the sweeter side. I wonder if it's going to have that kind of cherry note that I usually get out of Makers um, with a little bit of that kind of rose waterness that some people like, some people don't like. But it says chocolate, maple, and caramel. So to me, Sounds like right up my alley. Um, so I'm interested to see what it tastes like. Now, it is a pretty high proof. I want to say it is probably barrel strength proof. 55.85% um, alcohol or 111.7 proof. Um, so this should be pretty fun. So let's give it a taste and see if it's worth the money. I know I spent uh, only about 60 bucks on it. But online, I saw that some were going upwards of $100. So... Seems like it could be pretty rare, so let's see if it tastes pretty good. Ooh, that smells really, really nice right off the back, just right off the cork. First thing already, something I already really appreciate about this bottle is they used a real cork. The last makers I had didn't have a cork, and I didn't end up liking the liquid inside. It just wasn't for me. That was the Makers 101. Um, so I don't think I've had any Makers products since then. Um, so I'm curious to see how this one fares. So let's pour it up. So the 10 staves that they put in this is actually 10 new French oak staves. Um, so they're not a bunch of different ones kind of competing. It's all French oak. They just use 10 different staves of it. Right off the bat, the proof is really coming out of this. I can really smell that ethanol. Now, this is the first pour of this, so it is going to be probably pretty, pretty strong on my nose. So on the smell, I do get a lot of that caramel. I do get a little bit of fruit as well. I think, I think it's a little bit of apricot or a little bit of pear or something like that. Um, uh, smells pretty good. A little bit of spice, I think. Can't really tell the spice and the, the alcohol content's kind of confusing me a little bit. All right, let's give it a taste. Wow. This release is definitely worth the 65 ish dollars that i spent one it's a really really nice proof for that price two it's got so much caramel and some really nice spice up front and a little bit of fruit as well but the the finish is so long on this one you get that fruit and the spice up front you get a little bit of that oakiness in the middle and then the finish is just pure like maple chocolate, like almost like a maple donut. It is amazing. It's still constantly sitting in my mouth right now. Wow, this is a this is a fantastic bourbon. Now that I've tasted it, going back to the smell, I can really, really smell that maple and that that spice is coming through. Almost like a like a little bit of like green tea or clove or something like that. A little bit like of a richer, darker spice. Now my second drink of it. Now that my palate's kind of coated already, I don't get a lot of that fruit up front. It's still amazing, but I don't get a lot of that fruit up front anymore. I just get a lot of that kind of spicy barrel char to it. Then it kind of mellows out on the palate once you've kind of swallowed it. Uh, and then you get that really nice chocolate maple note on the finish. You're just left with it, like coated your mouth. It's really, really nice. If I was gonna rate this, oh my gosh, what would I rate this? If I was gonna rate this on bourbons that I've had, um it would be up there this has so much complexity so much flavor nice spice nice caramel 
It's not overly expensive. I see why people are charging upwards of $100 for it. Uh, it's a really, really great bourbon to have in your collection if you do not already have it. Um, I would have to probably rate this a 9 out of 10. Uh, it is it is up there with one of the best things that I've, I've tried in terms of um, bourbons, at least in my collection. It's, it's really, really good. After the second or third uh, drink on it, you definitely... You definitely start picking up more and more of those French oak staves. I mean, they did put 10 of them in there because they wanted you to taste it. But now I'm starting to get a lot more of that oak to it. And I don't mind it. Uh, it's very pleasant. And then again, you're left with that really fantastic finish. So amazing, amazing product. Go pick one up if you don't already have one. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I just want to give you guys a little quick review on the new Maker's Mark uh, Wood Finishing Limited Edition Series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope this helped if you guys were thinking of picking up this bottle. Um, definitely should pick up the bottle, especially if you can find it at retail price. It is definitely one to have. Um, so thank you guys for coming. I will see you guys next time. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Uh, and we'll see you back here next time. Have a good one.